Or Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the elected nation of Israel. I just want to go into basically how the Lord means business. You know? He means business, so we must be about the Lord's business. You know? Just as Yahweh Shai was about his father's business. We must be about the Lord's business. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai's business. Because at the end of the day, what is written is gonna come to pass. It's gonna be it's gonna be what's in play. It's it's not it's nothing to play with. There's no games. And this is why the Lord again he sent his prophets, you know, like a broken record here. He sent his prophets to give warning to the people because at the end of the day, nobody's going to be able to say how uh, th how they didn't know that the Lord stood on his business. You know, he just sent, um, again, he sent men, sometimes it be men that you know, and sometimes it be men that you don't know. He'll send men, he'll send you, He first of all, he sent them out on the earth and but he'll send you across their paths, you know, to either be marked, to be marked for destruction, to either be marked for destruction or to be marked for deliverance, you know. And and we know that the majority of our people, when they come across the prophets, they get marked for the destruction. See, because Jacob's stiff-hearted and stiff-necked, you know, and rebellious, man. Jacob's so rebellious. Jacob's so rebellious. That that um, you can't even tell Jake about their own destruction. You can't you can't forewarn him because you don't. According to them, you don't know how things are going to play out. You know you don't you don't know how life and death works. We already, but we do know we know that Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, um, he give orders to angels to uh take lives, you know, or to bring judgment. And the Habashmel shall give life according to the scriptures. So here it is. Yahabashmel Shah got his messengers out to basically give you warning from, from him. And let's let's start off with that. Let's start off with that scripture. <clears throat> let's go to Ezekiel. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse uh, 17. And then go, going back to Ezekiel 2, to tell you how the, how the Lord says, hey, how how Jake is just stiff head, stiff necked and rebellious, a hard hard headed as children, even until this very day, man. But the Lord, hey, um, again, He sent His messengers out to forewarn the people before He brings that great destruction. Ezekiel three and verse seventeen. Yeah, and the Lord is still warning. The Lord is still warning people, you know? He's still warning you. The Lord is still warning you niggas. But we, we know that... I know Apostle Ricard did a, a lesson that I saw earlier. You know, he was out in the camp. I think he was down in Chicago, if I'm not mistaken. But, um... Basically going to how the elect is already sealed, man. You know, so we basically we 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 basically we speaking to deaf ears. You know, we speaking to dead people, man. People that are spiritually dead, they they, they not gonna get it. You know, yeah, they they're not gonna turn. They're not gonna turn to the Lord. You know, they're gonna be rebellious all the way to the end. This is the book of uh, Ezekiel, three and seventeen. Says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman to the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word in my mouth and give them warning from me. So we, we warn you directly from the Heavenly Father about the Heavenly Father. We, we, we're telling you that you don't want to fuck around and find out. That's, that's, the, that's the whole message, you know? You don't want to fuck around and find out by getting that harsh judgment. 
what you want to do is play it safe so that you can be saved. That's the point. That's a lesson. Play it safe that you can be saved. But you don't want to fuck around and find out that you have about some y'all shot meant business through those men. You don't want to be on that side, man. You want to you want to get it now and get it right now while you 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 may have a chance. But the elect, the elect get it, and the elect obtains it, right? And they're gonna hold, hold fast, you know. Keep enduring all the way to the end. Finish the race, because hey, your house shot is coming. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. Thou giving him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same man, same wicked man, shall die in his iniquities. So like he shall die in his iniquity, but his blood would I require thine hand. So there's a price to pay for not being for not giving the message of how about some y'all shy uh sent us forth to give. And that message would be uh Basically, by him requiring that blood, you know, there's going to be shed at our hands, you know, requiring the, the blood because these, these people, we don't go give these the, these people the message. Their blood is on us, you know, their lives, their lives. You know, from from them being able to repent, that the Lord gonna hold us responsible for that. You know, it's like you go tell your child. Let's just say you got an older son or a daughter or whatnot. Let's say you got an older son. You go tell him, hey, go tell you, go get your little brother or whatnot, and tell him, hey, um, to do a certain thing a certain way that you would like. You know, and if he get hurt because you didn't go do what your parent told you to do. Now you are the one to blame because the the parents gave you the responsibility. Your parent gave you the responsibility. Let's say your father gave you the responsibility to go and look out for your brother. You know, to go tell your brother what I told you to what I told you to tell him. You know, to keep him out of harm's way. You know? And if you told him, then it was on your brother. You know, then it was on him, like the scriptures going into. It's on him then. If he didn't wanna, if he wanted to be a hard headed ass little, uh, little boy, and he want, he, he get fucked up. Guess what? That's on him. You have done what your father told you to do, so therefore you have, you have got yourself out of the way of an ass whooping, you know, or a punishment, you know. Same as with the heavenly father, and with the prophets. We, we go and tell you because the, 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 the prophets that are sent from the heavenly father, they're going to prophesy. We're going to prophesy and tell you, hey, thus said the Lord, you know, this is what the this is what the father said. This is what your Habash Shai is standing on. If you don't do this, your ass is grass, you know, and literally these people are going to be like, 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 like grass, you know, to this, to this fire and. Yahabashim Shah is not going to play with him. You know? He says, yet. Verse 19. Yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Right? You know, you did what you're supposed to do. The only thing you can do is just go tell them. You can't make, we can't make these people do anything. The only thing we can just tell them, and if they're persuaded, you know, then guess what? They they deliver their own soul, you know. But it's up your habashim y'all shy to give them to that mind to 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 fear him, basically, you know, to reverence him. It says again, when the righteous man do a turn from his wickedness, it's like when he do a turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sins and righteous in his righteousness that he should that he have done. Shall not be remembered, but his blood will I require in thine hand. You know, even even of the uh, brothers in his truth, you know, include myself. 
you know, if a brother tell me something and I don't turn from that wickedness, you know, and the brother see me doing something that's, um, or even here, you know, and the, and the brother, you know, approach me about it, you know, um, you know, I got to see that this is the Heavenly Father approaching me about it, you know, so I may basically, um, do the right thing and put down the sin, you know, turn from my sins so that I won't be destroyed. You know, if that brother told me what was right, that brother, he like, again, he did what he had to do. He, he told me as a brother, you know, so. And if I continue that wickedness and if I'm stubborn, stiff hearted.